Hello to... I immediately found something to fix. So... Sorry, we're going into a blank screen for a moment. Well, mostly blank. Because... One of these things, it's this, right? Yeah. Perfect. Sorry about that. Didn't notice that one of the effects broke a thing. Because I had problems with stream effects. Because it didn't appear Outsider! at all. Stop! How you doing, Humpa? Also, somebody's been tampering with my knobs. I don't like it when people tamper with my knobs without my permission. Anyway, hello everyone, welcome. Today we'll be going into Quest for Glory. It's the first time I've played this this millennium. I'm probably going to be very, very lost. But it's fine. Also, Lord John, thank you very much for spreading the wonders of the North, and now that works as it should. And Zai, holy shit, thank you very much for 15 months of being a citizen to the wonderful country of the Total of Finn. I talk good. Thank you. And indeed, it is something other than Elden Ring. We finished it the last time, and I'm still surprised we finished it the last time. Did not fucking expect it. Was expecting it to take at least two, three streams. Instead, we finished it in one. Fucking unbelievable. Fucking unbelievable. And sorry... My ability to talk seems to be a little bit impaired right now. Yes, I like my knobs untouched. Well, actually, I like I like my knobs touched. Just... It needs consent. And when somebody... Fiddles with my knobs without consent... I don't like that. Anyway, for those who don't know, Quest for Glory is an old adventure RPG type game, and uh, from Sierra, which should tell you something about what we'll likely be encountering. Also, shit, I... Remembered another thing I need to fix. Before going into the game, I'm going to fix one of the animations. Because I said during the loading that one of the animations was borked. So I need to fix it. Congratulations, Lord John. You too have become the Schrodinger's drunk. For once, chaos has fallen. All right, it was lose air for. Now I just need to. Do that, overwrite, looped frames, done. There. Now the animation should be fixed. I'm gonna try and make more, 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 because I like the system and I want people to have many, 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 many ways to customize their characters. How you doing, Blackbird? I got abducted by aliens. I was told to do all of my chores, eat my veggies, take a shower, and brush my teeth. It was then that I realized 
I was in the mothership. <laughs> How you doing, Blackbird? It is a very interesting game, indeed. You're right, Humpa. I just don't remember too much of it, to be honest. Literally, the only thing that I remember is uh, climbing a tree. Yeah, well, it, it's been a while. Over 20 fucking years. I'm probably gonna be playing the VGA version just because it has music. I kinda like the text parser of the EGA version. I don't know. I haven't, I've never actually played the VGA version. I've only played the EGA version. So, I have no idea how the fuck it even works. We'll see. I'm sure there is chaos. I would not even be surprised if that actually exists. I'll just do that. There we go. Everything should be prepared, so let's get into it. Main screen, turn on. Good old DOS. The software you are now using was produced through the efforts of many people. Designers, artists, programmers, musicians, and lots of other hard-working folks. If you make copies of this software for any reason other than to make a personal backup, you are not only breaking the law, but raising the cost of software for all legitimate users. Please do not make illegal copies of this game. Oh, by the way, you will need the information contained in the printed documentation to successfully complete this game. In other words, it's not just the law. It's a good idea. Which reminds me, I should have... Uh, the manual. For example, reading from the manual in the section Living in this crazy world. Just as in real life, there are basic things a person must do to stay alive. You will need to eat a couple of meals each day. If you are carrying food, you will eat automatically, but try not to run out of rations. You will also need a certain amount of sleep. In your special action icon bar to regain health, stamina, and magic points. Without sleep, you will use these points quickly. Sleep is best accomplished at night, as travel is much safer during daylight hours. Besides, heroes are notorious for their type A personalities. You must be careful where you bed down, though, or you may wake up as something's midnight snack. I don't know. As in real life, basic necessities cost money. To earn money, you can carry out a quest. Defeat a wealthy monster, or, worst of all, get a job at the castle. In the coin of the realm, ten silver pieces equal one gold. Supplies such as food, equipment, magical spells and healing potions can be purchased from the local shops. You will carry most of your equipment in a backpack. Blah, 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 in a backpack. The amount you can carry is determined by your strength and the weight of the equipment. If for some reason you're in a hurry, a monster on your tail or some such thing, select the run icon to move quickly. Don't run too far though, or you'll soon become tired. Select the walk icon to resume walking normally. When you complete Quest for Glory successfully, you will be given the opportunity to save your character for use in Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire. 
you will be asked to insert a formatted writable disk. Save this disk, as it will allow you to begin trial by fire at an advantage. Alright, there's all kinds of combat, magic, stuff. Oh, I have some kind of a recollection of this. There's a wizard's game. I don't think we are going to do that, though. We'll see. I don't remember if you do that as anything other than a mage. We'll see. Let's see. The introduction. That's an elephant centipede. I'm very glad, Gino, that I'm not the only one who heard that. Alright, so, choose our character. A fighter, a magic user, or a thief. Let's go with the thief. I like thieves. Yeah, we're probably gonna find many softlocks, Lord John. This version's quite buggy. Well, that's... that's a shame. Because thieves are nice. Fine, let's be a mage then. I'm not gonna be a fighter. Fighters aren't... fighters are lame. Fine, Humpa. For you. Intelligence, magic. I'm not entirely sure what all of these things do. Vitality is good because that adds our health, right? Strength allowed us to carry more, so let's have one of those. Dodge might be good to have a bit. Let's be a very smart mage. It's probably gonna... horribly bite us in the ass. This seems like a quiet little town. On the porch ahead of you are two people. The standing one is large, rather ugly, and playing with a yo-yo. The seated person smoking a pipe looks like he might be the sheriff. The man with the pipe greets you. Oh, welcome to our town. You are lucky to have made it down from the mountains before the snow blocked the pass again. It's gotten pretty dangerous outside of the town, I understand. Many monsters have been trapped around here with the late snow. Between them and the brigands, we certainly could use a hero around here. 
I am Sheriff Schultz Meisterson. This is Otto von Goon, my assistant. Good luck in your quest. Tell me about the mountain. Oh, you should know you came down from there. No, oh, fuck you, buddy. How about this town? This town was named after the barons of Spielberg. It used to be a lively place to be before the brigands came and drove all the business away. You can find a place to stay at the inn next door. You can learn about jobs available at the guild hall down the street. If you're interested in magic, you should visit the magic shop. There's still plenty to do and see here in Spielberg. Tell me about the Baron. Baron Stefan keeps mostly to himself at his castle north of here. We haven't seen him here in town for years. Uh, tell me about magic. Just next to the inn is a small magic shop. The owner, Zara, will let you in if you have some abilities in that area. Oh, she's a strange one, all right. Tell me about the brigands. Uh, monsters, brigands, adventure. Tell me about the monsters. The monsters come down from the mountains every winter, but uh, they're usually gone by now. The Baron just doesn't have enough men to handle them. Wolfgang is the one to talk about monsters. He has had a lot of experience with them. Tell me about Wolfgang. Wolfgang down at the Guild Hall is the one to talk about monsters. He's had a lot of experience with them. Tell me about the brigands. Oh, there's a whole band of brigands hiding out somewhere in the mountains around us. They robbed a merchant just last week. Got a fair amount of treasure, I hear. So, what kind of treasure? Obtaining treasure involves putting yourself in danger. If you're brave, foolish, or lucky, you might get some treasure. What kind of danger? My friend, this world's filled with dangers. Sometimes I think it might be better to choose your danger rather than sitting around waiting for it, as I seem to do. But enough of this philosophical rambling. I'm content enough to be the Sheriff of Spielberg. How about adventure? You'll need to talk to Baron about that. Or go ask Wolfgang down at the Guild Hall, which is just down the street. I'm getting the feeling he wants me to meet Wolfgang. So maybe you're going to be a hero. Well, we could surely use one around here, what with all the brigands. How about you, Otto von Goon? You get no response. This is the door to the sheriff's office. The sign reads, Heroes Tale Inn. There's a sign on the door of the barber shop. It says, Out to Lunch. You can't do much with that. You have four gold pieces and ten silver pieces, weighing 0 0.2 pounds. You have five food rations, each weighing 0 0.3 pounds. You have one leather jerking, it weighs 20 pounds. You have one dagger, it weighs 2 pounds. Your spells don't seem to work here. Alright, let's start exploring the town. There's a guild hall. This one looks like a magic shop. The eye over the magic shop door seems to be watching you. She's the only sane person here. At least she's not off her rocker. Oh, you game. This looks like a nice, neat little house. There's a grandmotherly little old lady rocking on the front porch. 
she's really sleeping soundly and doesn't notice your presence. Alright, let's not wake her up. Magic shop. Hello? I am Zara, and my companion is Don Damiano. The items in this shop are designed for those skilled in the use of magic. Well, hello there. Zara has a mysterious, unearthly look to her. You have a feeling that she's not a person to trifle with. The bat-winged creature must be some sort of familiar. There is an uncanny look in its eyes, and you don't want to look at it too closely. It is clearly magical. Hello, Zara. Tell me about yourself. You come here often? I am both human and fairy folk. I draw my power from both. My name is Zara, and this is my shop. Tell me about the fairy folk. We are a people of power and magic, and live in the forests far beyond the mountains to the west. What kind of power? Power is the essence of magic, that which the wizard shapes and is shaped by. So, tell me about Damiano. He looks, uh, interesting. Damiano is both my familiar and my friend. We share our lives and our magic. A familiar is a creature of magical abilities which has been summoned to serve the wizard. The summoning of a familiar is the most powerful spell and can be cast at once. It binds the wizard and the familiar to the ends of their lives. The more powerful the wizard, the more powerful the familiar. Although you cannot always judge power by a familiar shape. Tell me about magic. If you have the skill of magic, you can learn the way to cast spells by reading magical scrolls. Without the skill, you have no power. The more you practice spell casting, the greater you shall become. What's this initiation thing? When you have mastered nine spells, have the power to cast all, and proven yourself worthy by accomplishing a great deed, then you must undergo initiation to become full wizard. There is a place in the distant south where you must journey, but first you must become a hero here. What's this hero thing? Master the arts arcane. Use those skills to vanquish the evil curse, and you will become a true hero. Tell me about the journey. There are many entrances to the halls of magical mastery in the south. After you have gained skill and a good reputation in magic, you should journey south. If you are indeed worthy of being a wizard, you will find a way to those halls. Alright, you wouldn't happen to be, um, having some kind of magic stuff I could buy. You see a wide variety of arcane objects. For example, scrolls covered with mysterious symbols and arcane incantations. There are a few Dead Sea Scrolls, a couple of Red Sea Scrolls, a C++ scroll with an assembly language, and others even more esoteric. Could I buy some scrolls? The titles are totally unfamiliar to you. The books dealing with sorcery, necromancy, and other occult subjects. None of the scrolls is in a language you have ever seen. As your hand nears the coals, you discover that they are burning. You know, um, I, I, I'd like to buy stuff. Here. There we go. 
Oh boy. Okay, I think um I think I might How much money did I have? Four gold pieces, ten silver. As you read the spell scroll, the spell is ingrained in your mind. I, I spent almost all of my money now. That's fine. Thanks for the spell, I guess. Bye, Zara. Yes, more esoteric language than C++. Well, I think we're going to need to find ourselves a job. You enter the Adventurer's Guild Hall. This Adventurer's Guild Hall reminds you of the one in your hometown. The traditional Moosehead and other stuffed monsters, Saurus, Stroll, Griffin, Dragon, Cheetor, and the terrible Antwerp adorn the walls. You see a registration book on the table and the bulletin board full of job listings. The man seated near the window must be the guildmaster. He is snoring. This entry was made several years ago. It says, Baron A. Bernard von Spielberger killed a troll near the Flying Falls on this 23rd day of October. Well, let's check the job board and see if we can find something to make money with. Reward for the return of Lost Ring, inquire at the healers. This poster is rather dusty and faded. The picture is of a small child with braids. Reward of 50 gold coins for the safe return of Elsa von Spielberg. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. Ooh, 50 fucking gold. Reward of 30 gold coins for the capture or death of the Brigand Warlock. Description. Short, ugly, and wears brightly colored robes. Has a habit of laughing continually. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Great. Gates. Wanted Brigand Leader. Description. Unknown appearance. Wears a cloak. Must provide proof of leader's identity. Reward of 60 gold coins and title of a hero of the realm. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. That sounds like a main quest. This poster seems to have been here a while. It has a picture of a handsome but arrogant young man. Reward of 50 gold coins for information leading to the return of Baronet Bernard von Spielberg. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. Well, the Troll Slayer's gone. Notice, spell components needed, cash or trade for potions. Inquire at the healers. It looks like this old guildmaster doesn't do too much adventuring anymore. Still, he looks like he was plenty tough in his day, and he probably has many a tale to tell. The guildmaster appears to be hard of hearing, perhaps you should get closer. Let's poke him. Ugh, I was so busy I did not notice you come into the Adventurer's Guild Hall. Welcome, welcome. It is so seldom we have new adventurers here. Most people think this valley is cursed. Well, it's cursed. By my handsomeness. Uh, what's this cursed thing? Yeah, with the Baron losing his son and daughter, Baba Yaga. All the monsters, and now the brigands, it has just been one thing after another. Baba Yaga, huh? Monsters, brigands. Right, it's... okay. I just realized the son and daughter thing. Baron von Spielberg was once a brave protector of a valley. We used to adventure together when I was younger. No brigand or monster would have... Dare show his face here if the Baron had not angered Baba Yaga. Now it's said he goes nowhere and sees no one. Okay, so tell me about the Baron's son. Now there was a hero, 
and worthy of the name Barnard Borden Spielberg. He rode off to hunt one morning five years ago and his horse returned with a large claw marks on it. No sign of Barnard's Bobdy was ever found. Spoopy. Tell me about the Baron's daughter. Elsa was a beautiful eight-year-old child with blonde hair and sky-blue eyes. She was her father, the Baron's joy. Ten years ago, she was carried off by something which flew over the wall and away with her. Eighteen. So she's eighteen now. Good to know. The search for her lasted many years, but at last everyone gave up except the Baron's jester, Yorick. Tell me about Yorick. Oh, poor Yorick. I knew him well. He was a funny little man, but brave. He swore he would spend his life searching I for- I the fucking jester, dipshit! Tell me about the Baba Yaga. She is the center of our problems. I think Baba Yaga is a powerful ogre. Baron von Spielberg tried to force her to leave this valley, but she cursed him. Now the Baron has lost everything but his land, and I don't know how long he will keep that. What our valley needs is a hero. I could be a hero. A real hero is someone who didn't start out strong or powerful, but uses his courage and brains and skill to become the best he can be. This is where an adventurer can find out who needs someone brave and courageous. There are many jobs on the bulletin board over there. It is also a good place to talk about adventures on a cold afternoon. We used to play cards here once a week as well, but there are too few adventurers in Spielberg anymore. They all died from monsters or brigands. Also, I completely forgot to get myself something to drink. Tell me about the trophies. Schultz and I killed most of the monsters on those walls. Alright, so I could get... Tell me about Schultz. Schultz, Meisterson and I have been friends for a long time. He too was once a real adventurer. Now he's just the sheriff. How about Oro? I like Otto, even if he is a goon. Schultz has him almost trained. What's a goon? Goon is a lot like an ogre. Lots of stuff, but a little smarter. The sheriff Zotto and Crusher at the tavern are both goons. Interesting. Alright, I guess that's it for now. We do have a couple of... Uh quests now. We need to find a ring. We have two people who have been lost. One for ten years, one for five years. Lots of stuff. I think I remember the ring. That's one of the few things I think I do remember. Not the one ring, Chaos. Just that one ring. Welcome, welcome, traveler, to the Hero's Tale Inn. I am Shamin, at your service. May you find what you seek here. Hi, Shamin. Very good food, very good drink, finest in town. Sit, rest. You will be served by my Shema. What's a Shema? You see a sign that says, please don't touch. Besides, Shamin is watching you. You take a seat at the table nearest the fire. Let's hope we have enough money. I am Shema. Allow me to serve you wanderer from afar. Do you wish food or drink? Uh... Food. 
We have very good stew of newborn lamb, along with honey chicken for a mere three silvers, coffee included in the price of the meal. It's just a score in old Sierra games, which was basically... Well, kind of sort of a completionist thing. You got score for doing things. Oh, right, I probably have to... Yeah, here, money. Buy yourself a meal. It's, it's basically kind of, you can see it as a kind of a completion, completion score. So instead of 0 to 100%, it's now score 17 points out of 500. I bring you that which you ordered. May it please and satisfy you. I mean, it's food, I hope it's good. Better fucking be. The food tastes surprisingly good, and the drink is delicious. Permit me to clear the table for you. Oh, that's nice. We've been shopping, we've been talking to people, and now we've uh, gone to a restaurant. <laughs> yep, it wasn't just a menu. Oh, yep, now, now food. You can smell apples as you approach this corner. Good day, and welcome to Spielberg. Would you like to buy some of my nice fresh fruits or vegetables? Hello there. What's your name? I'm Hilde, daughter of Heinrich Federen, the farmer. Farmer, you say? Oh, my father is a fine farmer. My father is Heinrich Federfeden. How's your farm? We have some land to the north of town. It isn't very big, but we grow many things. You should be here during harvest time. Then I would see many fruits and vegetables. How about your mother? My mother has been dead for three years now. I still miss her. There are a variety of vegetables for sale. And the shopkeeper is a centaur. Did not notice that. Thank you, but my father thinks I'm too young for a date. He would not permit it, but perhaps next year. I mean, yeah, dating a centaur would be an interesting thing. Um, do you know anything about the brigands? No, oh, they've twice robbed my father of his money. And they've tried to steal our food during this winter. That is because we farm outside of town. The brigands would not dare to try that in town. The sheriff would stop them fast. Tell me about the robbery. Many robbers ran up to father as he trotted back to town. My father tried to fight, but they hurt him badly. They then ran away to the southwest. Southwest. See, we're getting a lot of uh, directions already. We have many kinds of fresh vegetables for sale today. There are carrots, rutabagas, parsnips, and potatoes right from the ground at five for a silver. They're very good for you. We also have some apples. Uh, tell me about the apples. There are still some apples left from last season in the barrel. You may buy ten for a silver since they are so small. Give me apples. You carefully select ten of the best apples from the barrel and pay Hilda a silver piece. You see a dry goods store through the window.
Hello there, what do you have here? This looks like a dry goods store, but it smells like a musty library. The stove feels nice on such a crisp day. Behind the counter and on the shelves, there are a variety of items for sale. The shopkeeper appears to ignore you while he reads a book. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't notice you coming in. Am I? You look like an adventurer. We don't see too many of you around here. The brigands tend to get rid of most of the adventurers before they make it to town. I do try to stock some things adventurers can use. I actually would rather be an adventurer than a shopkeeper, you see. My items are pretty ordinary, though. You probably already have most of them, if you've done any adventuring at all. Adventurer, you say? Who are you? Why, that's me, Kaspar. I always wanted to be an adventurer. I read about them all the time. The book I was just reading is about adventuring. What's the book? Oh, this book. It's about an adventurer who is going to become a hero. The title is Quest for Glory, A Hero's Death. Oh. Hope it's uh, an alternative universe thing. What kind of equipment do you have? Unfortunately, I have only standard weapons and equipment. I carry daggers and chain armor. Maybe someday I'll be able to carry magic ones, though. It's a very good idea to carry an empty flask or two. In case you want to pick up a liquid or something else that needs a container, our flasks are a great bargain. Or at uh, two syllabus each. Okay, I could use some flasks. Tell me about Hilda. Oh, Hilda sells fine produce for a reasonable price. Tell me about the brigands. I don't like to talk about other people behind their backs. It's a fucking brigand. It's only a flask. Here you are. Thank you for your patronage. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck off. Piece of shit. I don't know why I don't like him. You see a nicely furnished living room through the window. Can I ransack their place? Hello. Knock, knock. I'm coming in. There is no response. The lock is of a simple type. Oh, right. I could, if I was a thief. I could just ransack the place. As a thief. The shop seems to be closed, although there are some dried-up cupcakes in the window. There is a sign on the door which says, Garn Fishing. The shop seems to be closed. There's a sign on the door which says, Garn Fishing. Looks like the door of a tavern. It's dark, but there seems to be someone in there. A dark alley, you say, next to a tavern. The door has been barred and nailed shut. The workshop has long since been abandoned. You can't seem to open the door. It might be locked. See, this is why we should have been a thief. Let's go into a dark alley. What could possibly go wrong? This grubby place must be an alley. It feels strange here, colder than the rest of town. There are some barrels discarded here, and a beggar holds out a bowl towards you. Alms! Alms for the poor! I don't know if I have alms for the poor. I have sil I have four silver. Fine, have an alm. Oh, thanks. You know, it's really tough trying to make a living begging in this town since the brigands started scaring all the trade away. This used to be such a nice place to live. My advice to you is not to take a begging. It just doesn't pay. And don't go out at night. Well... Let, let, let's let's be honest. You also probably would have a better luck at begging. A word of warning to you. Don't drink the dragon's breath. Yeah, I don't know much about Quest for Glory, Humpa. 
Yeah, we need to drink the dragon's breath now. But we also need to save before doing that. I'm fairly certain we could find that in the inn. The breeze is cool, but you feel a shiver deeper than just the cold. You are really on your own now, in a very dangerous place. Oh nice, I can even move with the keyboard. That's nice. It's an old broken down car. All right, time to start adventuring. Saying don't drink the dragon breath is just like saying, if you don't know what the glory hole is, don't look into it. Pretty much, you're not wrong there. All right, so this goes to a forest. All right. The bright smell of fresh herbs mingles with the aroma of wood smoke as you come up to a hut by the side of the road. The door seems to be barred on the inside. Perhaps you should knock. You politely knock on the door. After a moment, you hear the inside bolt slide open. A voice from inside says, come on in. Ooh, chaos. It's looking like you might lose. There we go! Congratulations, Blackbird! You've beaten chaos. The fragrances of herbs mingle with some rather unpleasant odors as you step into the healer's house. Ah, this is the healer's house! We heard about that in the notes and stuff. Lovely day, isn't it? My, you look very healthy for an adventurer. You must be new. What can I do for you? I can sell you healing potions if you like. I also buy spell components if you are interested in gathering some for me. Don't mind me, I always have so much to do around here. You see a winged lizard, much like the one you saw outside. Do you know anything about the brigands? Oh, those brutes. I'm always having to heal someone they've beaten up and robbed. I hate thieves. Do you know about the farmer? Oh, would you believe the brigands almost killed him a while back? Fortunately, their leader made him bring Heinrich here, where I could heal him. How about the leader? I heard the brigand leader ordering those nasty men to bring poor Heinrich here after they heard him so. I gave him all a good scolding, you can imagine. Tell me about the castle. Oh, you can see a Spielberg castle from my yard outside. The Baron lives there with only his guards for company, so I hear. Tell me about the daughter. Oh, the dear child. I can still picture her with her beautiful blonde hair, done up in braids. Oh, she was so sweet. It is odd to believe she's gone. How about the son? Oh, he was just a young dashing man when he last rode off. He never returned. So you don't know much. How about the Baron? Poor man. Hasn't been the same since his son and daughter were taken from him. How about the spell components? I always need ingredients for making potions. Right now I need some Iranus flowers, magic mushrooms, troll beard, and uh, let me think. Oh yes, Cheetor claws. I'll also be happy to play you, pay you if you bring me some. I'll also buy back any empty flask you have so that I can recycle them. Waste not, want not, after all. Alright, here I could buy potions and shit. Oh, by the way, if you happen to find a ring on your adventurers, I lost my favorite gold ring. I'll give a reward to the one who returns it. 
Yeah, I think I know exactly where it is. Just need to remember how to actually get it. What's that? You possess the Zap spell. Your expertise is 10. You will use 3 magic points each time you cast this spell. You possess the Fetch spell. Your expertise is 5. You will use 5 magic points each time you cast this spell. You take a lovely gold ring from the nest. You place the ring into your pack and the nest on the ground. See, this was the one thing that I remembered. That you could either climb there, use the fetch spell. Options. After a moment you hear the inside bolt slide open and the voice inside says, Come on in! Well, we'll see how big of a reward is. Well, what can I do for you this time? Well, I've got something for you. Rocks. Also, one ring to rule them all. Oh, thank you for finding my ring. Oh, I've missed this. Here are six golds and two healing potions for your reward. Okay, that is a pretty big reward. We finally have money again. Oh, okay, never mind. You put the reward away and tell her she's welcome as you leave to avoid being kissed again. Consent, lady. Jesus Christ. I do want to try this. Even though I know that as a magic user, we don't have that. Yep. It takes a lot of skill and practice to climb this tree. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not good enough to do this. And since... Um, where could I see it again? Where could I see my stats and stuff? I'm sure it was it. Oh, right. No? I've never played this version, so goddammit. It's... That's my eye. Oh, is it in the... Yep. Is it, as you can see... Climbing is zero, and for those skills we had a zero, we couldn't add any points, so I'm assuming we cannot learn parrying, stealth, lockpicking, throwing, or climbing at all. Whereas, uh... Other things we can... The re yeah, I know. I know, Chaos. Ah, I think we found the farm. The centaur stops raking as you approach. Yeah, I, I think so, Blackbird, yeah. Hello there. I am Heinrich Ferdefeden. I live in town with my daughter Hilde, who sells our produce on Market Street. That's why there are different characters to choose, Blackbird. It means you can play in different ways and do, you know, replay with a different, uh, different character and have to 
find different solutions for the problems. For example, right now I'm going to assume that most of our solutions are going to include magic. Hilda is a bright little filly. I'm very proud of her. Yeah, she seemed like a good salesperson. Tell me about the... Tell me about the farm. I can grow enough on this little plot to feed my family and the village. You should see this field during the summer. There's much work for me to do now, and I bid you good day. Tell me about the brigands. <laughs> I get that reference, Blackburn. The brigands attacked me a few months ago. I'm a strong fighter and my hooves are deadly, but there were too many of them. My right leg was broken, and there's no pride for a centaur who cannot run. If it had not been for the unlikely intervention of their leader, I would be dead. The leader came up after the brigands attacked me and forced them to stop, ordering them not to hurt people from the town. Then, to my amazement, the leader gave me a healing potion and had me carried to the healer's house. It was hard to judge the leader, whose face was obscured by a large helm, but uh, there was compassion unlike that one expects from a brigand. The healer lives just east of here. She's very skilled with potions. Oh, Heinrich's daughter is a centaur. She was a centaur. All right, this is the woods. I'm just taking when we're going, when we're going to. All in. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the horse part of her body was behind the stall. We what just. Is uh, what is that? What is it? What is it indeed? Oh, it no, is a cough. No, it's a beast. It is a Tsibu raid. Welcome everyone. Hello there. It is indeed a raid. How you doing, Tsibu? How you doing, sir? Chili. Welcome everyone. I'm Fintrovert, your friendly neighborhood uh, right to streamer. Last time we finished Elden Ring, so today we're doing something different. Quest for Glory 1. Do you want to be a hero? And an Asira adventure RPG game. Right now we're still exploring the first place. I des no pesno. Right now we are just um, exploring the town and the outskirts of the town, seeing what we can find. We've already completed one quest. Found somebody's ring. But the short of it is, the town has been plagued by monsters and brigands, and we're trying to learn as much as we can about them, see about where they are, what we could do about them, and all that kind of stuff. We also found that the baron of this place... Um, has lost uh, his uh, son and daughter, one five years ago and the other ten years ago. And I'm fairly certain that the brigand leader will eventually find out is going to be the brigand's son, uh, no, the baron's son, or something of the sort. It's been over 20 years since I played this, so I don't remember shit. <laughs> yeah, I... I do remember loving this game when I played this when I was younger. I don't remember much about this anymore, because as the title says, this is the first time I'm playing this this millennium. So, basically the only thing I remembered was this tree. Was this tree and how to get the ring. That's the only thing I really, really remembered. I may, I may get, oh, it's this thing moments when we go further but that was the only thing that i properly remembered that we can get the ring from the tree by either using the fetch spell or climbing it depending on what kind of a character we have but yeah Tsibu, what were you playing i see retro as well but what i'm curious now let's go see the castle Ooh, Legend of Kurandia, book one. God, I've had those on my list of wanting to play them again as well.
Hello there, guard. My name's Carl. Hi, Carl. How's it going? So, uh, how's things at the castle? Boy, this is the castle of Baron Stefan von Spielberg. Yeah, I, I know that. Thanks, sir. Uh... So, um, got any jobs? Oh, the stable keeper could use a strong young person to help clean out the stables. He does not pay much, but it's good, honest work. If you'd like to take the job, come on in. Tell me about uh, the brigands. Oh, there are now too few guards to take out the brigands, which rob our people and drive away the traders. They hide somewhere near the edge of this valley. The brigands are protected by a magic user, and they have a shrewd leader. Tell me about the brigand warlock. Not much is known about him, but he seems to use more magic potions and powders than spells. How about in Treza? Many merchants have been robbed by the brigands. There's a merchant in town who could tell you about his robbery. Is there? Probably at the tavern. You love to scale up the character. I've always all skills almost a hundred. Yeah, I remember... I remember, I think... That's one of the reasons why I think I remember the tree, because when I was playing either a fighter or a thief, I think I... Climbed that tree a lot. What kind of reward would that give? Oh, there's still a reward offered for the safe return of the Baronet and L7 Spielberg of 50 gold. For the capture or death of the brigand warlock, there's a reward of 50 gold. For the capture or death of the brigand leader, there's a reward of 50 gold and the title of Hero of Spielberg. Tell me about the valley. Hey, Spielberg Valley was once a prosperous and peaceful place before the Baron lost his family. Now the Baron will not leave his castle and ask that no to ruin this land has come to. Okay, well. Oh, just a minute while I raise the gate. Let's go. Let's go work at uh, the stables. Because, why not? A hero needs to do something simple for a chance before going to do something else. The guard looks like he's either very tired or very lazy. Hello there. I'm not here to answer your stupid questions. Go talk to Carl, the gatekeeper. He talks to anyone about almost anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to look for the stables, because I was supposed to go and, uh, go and, you know, do something there. The grounds are neglected and overgrown. That looks like the main entrance, so I don't think that's the stables. Maybe to the right, then. Yeah, this looks more like it. In the stable, the manure is beginning to pile up. The Baron was once known for his many fine and noble steeds. Only a few aging animals remain in his stable. And at least the horses have plenty of hay to eat. You looking for some work? Yes. Oh, good. Come in here and take a rake. Order, pay you to rest. No, get to work. Okay, come on over here. Yeah, we're probably gonna make a lot of money, Sir Chili. The stableman hands you some coins and says, Now you're five silvers richer. Wow. Fuck you. I mean, thank you, sorry. That's 
Those sound almost the same, right? So I get them mixed up all the time. I mean, we had to do it once, right? The gates are closed for the night. Well, where the fuck am I? Fine, let's go sleep at the stables then. I wanted to go to the inn. But apparently we're just gonna sleep here. Sleep all night. Well, go, go in the fucking stable then. Well, yeah, that's why I'm trying to go into the stable. There. Now you're in the stable. Stay a while. And Cthulhu! Thank you very much for your 19 Stay months long. of being a citizen to the wonderful country of the Total Real Finland trademark. Thank you very much for your support. The evil hate filled Cthulhu from a dimension far away. Flying through gates of madness and into your heart. Oh, for fuck's sake, he put me back to work. I didn't want to go to work. I just wanted to sleep so I could leave this place. Is this how you treat a hero? Yeah, it's a real bed and brack bed and brack break. Piece of shit. Anyway, I'll take a short little break. I'll get myself something to drink. How are you doing, S7? Because I really need to drink something. And uh, then... I think we're going to have to start exploring. Finding brigands and all the things. Anyway, I will be right back. All right, and we are back. So, next I think we should go back to town. We still have the tavern we haven't visited. And uh, we should buy the two spells that we should now be able to afford, thanks to the ring. At least we should be able to buy one of them. I don't remember how much they cost. But we also did work at the stable, so that gave us a bit of money. Just took a quick peek of the manual. All right. Stall mucking skills come in handy later. <laughs> yeah, get to work, hero. Shovel heroically. <laughs> then... <sighs> this is really the kind of game where I think I should either start... I should probably start keeping a map. Let's check how much money did we have now. Six gold pieces, thirteen silver. I don't want to check one thing. Can we go down from here? Nope. How about left? Nope. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Let's go see the 
sexy fairy folk lady. Buy some moss spells. Hello there. So you return to my shop. Ask me what you will, but keep it to the point. Well, um... I'm giving you money. You take of that what you will. Jesus, that... Yeah, I can't afford to buy that. Well, open a spell at least. So we need six gold. Jesus Christ. What kind of a mage uses space priest to seduce people? A pyromancer. <laughs> then let's go check the tavern. We haven't been there yet, so... We do need to come up with more ways to make money. Which means we need to start exploring. The forest. The grimy window lets little light into this tavern. It smells like stale ale and other more unpleasant things. The floor is covered with dirt and the bar with sticky beer. Smoke appears to be rising from the center cask behind the bar. To your right, two gamblers are playing cards. The bartender glares at you as you enter, and so does the ugly goon on the left. You get the impression that you are not welcome. No, you haven't. You haven't, Blackbird. The drunken barber at the end of the bar isn't in any shape to talk. At least, not coherently. I heard you're a crusher. Goon seems to be ignoring you. Was Debar's weird? Um, Deutschmark. As you ask him questions, the goon's eyes darken. Hi. Do you guys work at the butchers? Uh, there's not a whole lot of meat in town for me to butcher these days. Now, if someone would just bring down that stag in the forest. Got any seven five sixes? How about the bakery? I haven't been able to get any supplies in since the brigands closed off the area. The bakery will reopen as soon as I have some. Go fish! The cards. They've been very, very good to me. Got any one three ones? What's that? You pick up the note. You smooth out the piece of paper and read B. He's starting to get suspicious. Hold off on our meetings for a bit, but I'll keep you posted by these notes. B. Interesting. The bartender's ignoring you. Maybe you'd better sit down at first. Not in the one that has weird green goo, though. What do you want? Well, first things I want to do is save, because, uh... What's your name, mister? Oh, this is a bar. I said drink. You want a drink? Order one. You want answers to stupid questions? Get out. Hey, the one silver. Troll sweat five silver. Dragon's breath twenty-five silver. Dick your feet. Give me the dragon's breath. Do you want a milk of dragon's breath? Those rules say it'll have to be cash up front. You cough up the cash. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Crusher! Our friend here wants dragon's breath. The 
There you go. You've never tasted anything like it before. Talk about a fiery brew! Maybe you really shouldn't have tried the dragon's breath. Better luck next time, and we hope you saved the game. I did. How about Troll Sweat? One mug of my fine Troll Sweat coming up. Why do the drinks have disgusting names? There you go. Smells like troll sweat. Tastes like troll sweat. By golly, it is troll sweat. And one troll sweat is too many. We lost points. After dusting yourself off, check to make sure you're still in one piece. Unfortunately, you discover that while you were out, someone managed to relieve you of all of your money. Now you'll have to find a way to get some money. The street is not the most comfortable place to sleep, and you have to eat sooner or later. However, this was not a good place to sleep. You're stiff and sore all over, and your wallet feels very light. I think I'll just have a regular rail, thank you. That was very hard, sir. It seems like the game is trying to tell me that drinking is not a good thing to do. This tastes as sour as it smells and burns your throat as you swallow it. Still, it isn't the worst beer you've ever drunk. Oh, thanks, I guess. Can I take the glass? No. Okay. Yeah, that that would have been an option, I guess, a seven. All right, let's start exploring the forest then. I'm just wondering, how big of a place is this? Yeah, I think it might be Blackbird. Alright, so we can't go up or down from here, I guess. Well, it doesn't seem that big, maybe. There seems to be a fox north of the road. Where'd you come from? Oh, you said something. It's a talking fox. And I skipped the dialogue. You spring the trap. In exchange for your kindness, I will give you some advice and a bit of information. First of all, it sometimes pays off to be polite, even to rude people. As for an amusing tidbit, Baba Yaga put an enchantment on the Baron's daughter some years back. To break the spell, you need to talk to the Dryad. Au revoir, ta-ta for now, be seeing you. Alright, the Baba Yaga has put a spell on the Baron's daughter, and we need to talk to the Dryad. Where would we find a Dryad? I don't know. Hello there. Hostile intent is evident. You prepare for the battle. Uh. 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 
Oh, this go this is going well. I'm almost dead. I, I didn't even do anything. Well, that could have gone better. Now, left from here should be the... I really need to... Well, I do have healing potions, don't I? So that at least is something. Now, where am I? I think, if I'm not wrong, to the right on the map should be the castle now. So... Yep. Still on the map. How do I use this? Alright. I've used a healing potion now. At least I could try another fight. It would be better if I had another spell, like the whole fire thing that I... That cost fucking 60 silver pieces. Just don't have nearly enough. Oh, nice, it's chasing me. I mean... This is nothing! Let's just stab the fucker. Die, bitch! It's dead, of course. Doesn't smell very good, either. You search your opponents, and you find two silver coins and carefully place them in your pouch. Hi, Dragoon! Oh, for fuck's sake, another one. Well, hello there! What's this place? The meadow lies covered with a blanket of flowers, unusual for this early in the spring. It is warm, even though surrounded by the late snows of winter. A large carved stone lies flat on the ground. You feel as though someone gentle was watching over you. You feel that you are safe here. The air has the fresh, clean scent of the mountains, accompanied by numerous perfume-like fragrances. Been wanting to stop by for a hot minute, but didn't want Elden Ring spoilers. Yeah, I'm sorry it took so fucking long. But goddamn, it was a fun one. I can seriously recommend Elden Ring. It's... it was a fucking massive, fantastic journey. The meadow is an oasis at the edge of the snow line. The rocky hillside looks very steep and slippery. As you pick a variety of the sweet-smelling flowers, they seem to glow in your hands. You put them safely away. Got it, but lost your interest, admittingly. Gonna restart eventually. I I don't blame that either. It is also a very long game. What are these glowy things? 
The sweet, juicy fruit of the tree is amazingly satisfying and refreshing. Oh, nice. So we get free food from here. Basically. The large stone appears to be ancient and deliberately placed marks carved into the stone almost look like writing. Lots of viral stuff going on at the time that I think hindered my ability to enjoy. Well, hopefully the IRL stuff has or will alleviate Dragoon. What are we playing today? Quest for Glory. It asks if we want to be a hero. And yes, we do. We are just a magic user that can't do shit right now and has to run away. <laughs> the stone has the words Rana's Peace carved up on the top. There are some runes carved along the side. Can you show the runes on the along the side? Oh, it reads, If thy will is magic, so shall I share. Open the stone and claim what is there. Don't fucking mind if I do. In a hole hidden beneath the ancient stone, someone has placed a scroll. The scroll vanishes even as you read the magical runes upon it. You now have the knowledge to cast a Corm spell. Nice, so I think we just found a place to rest. After a 30 minute rest, you feel better. I think this is also a good place to save. This is a place we really need to remember. Free food, a place to rest for free, safely. Hi, buddy. I think we need to rest a little bit more than half an hour. We're still very weak. We did find eight silver coins, though, so that's something. Can I see my health, my current health and stuff, without going into battle? It's midday on day two. Okay, that shows me the time. There, health, stamina, and magic point. Perfect. Yeah, that's that's the name it was in a lot of places. Hero's Quest. It's one of these where the same game was named different things in different places. Yeah, I think it might be best to just sleep all night. You can't just sleep during the daytime. Yes, I can. Don't tell me what I can do. You're too impatient to rest right now, fuck's sake. I wanna heal myself! Also, wait a second, I saw a black thing, what's the black thing? Is it just, um... No. Fine. Well, at least we know that... Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's stab the goblin in his fucking stomach. Maybe we can rest after this again. That'd be good. I'm just stabbing the motherfucker. So yes, it's named different things in different places. In different releases are different fucking names. It's still called Hero Quest in my the thingy. But I'm calling it Quest for Glory because, you know, it is what it's now known as. 
by practically everyone. Oh, for f Don't want to fight all the time. It's still after me. I'm running, he's walking, and he sticks right at my ass. Look at that! What's the point of running when he can stay here right at... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I, I, I guess I just have to go somewhere safe. Oh boy. I think that also took a lot of our stamina away, right? No, we've still got actually pretty decent stamina. How much money do we have now? Because we need that 60. Yeah, not even close to being enough. Well, it is pretty close to being enough. We need six silver pieces, but... If we go by the spell when we immediately have that six... That also means that we, at that point, don't have any extra. I don't want to check one thing. Uh, yeah, our weapon uses race a little bit. Which it should, considering we've been stabbing goblins in the stomach. Right, and one thing that I was supposed to check, because uh, in the manual there were explanations of those combat screens. Alright, so that's Zap Spell Flame Dart Dazzle Run. Swing Thrust Evade. Alright. I get it. Well, I don't get how it actually works. And the zap didn't seem to actually do shit either. We're just not good enough at casting the spell. Or it actually just fucking does nothing. One or the other. Hello there. What's this place? This must be the town graveyard. What a run-down place. It's certainly creepy here, even during the daylight hours. This might be a place we'd want to get in the evening, then, maybe. Some of the graves appear to have been disturbed. The red root growing out of one of the graves has a strange and evil appearance. Let's take it. Let's touch the strange and evil thing. You wrenched the mandrake plant free from the tombstone on which it has grown. Somehow you thought this would be a lot harder. You wonder if you did this right. The root shrivels and twists in your hands until nothing is left. Astonished, you look at your empty hands. Okay. Okay. So, we needed to have done something different. Shit. Never mind then. Okay. This is why I keep saving game. This is a Sierra game, which means... Uh, You can fuck shit up very bad. And okay. Now I know that's a mandrake root. I don't want to touch it until I know what to do with the mandrake root. That was one of the... That was one of the things that was very... This age of games. Where... A lot of stuff was really kind of trial and error. The visitor had to come in and say, Woo, quest for glory, how are you doing, Fessa? 
We're a magic user and we stab people. We found some stuff. Like a meadow where we can rest safely. That was nice. We also did one quest. Also, this looks... There's no path, only bushes. Totally impossible! Oh. Sibyl, thank you very much for the three biddies. Very much appreciated, and do sleep well. And thank you, again. Looking around, you get the feeling that this is not a very friendly place to be. I don't know why we'd get that kind of a feeling. Baba Yaga does not welcome strangers. You have to deal with me before you can enter. Baba Yaga is one tough magic user. If you're so stupid that you want to enter, perhaps we can make a deal. The large skull on the gate seems to stare vacantly at you. The skulls on top of the fence have eerily glowing eyes. The large skull on the fence seems to stare blankly at you. Now what would you want, Skull? Baba Yaga is the most powerful ogress around. If you have any brains, you'll stay away from her. Well, I don't. You're some hero if you don't even know what an ogre is. Yeah, I'm not a hero yet. Baba Yaga's hut will squat if you say the rhyme. What's the rhyme then? The hut will squat if you say, Hut of Brown, now sit down. Why, why did you tell me that? What about the deal? All the other skulls have glowing eyes but me. No, I don't need lovely glowing eyes. Just open and close the gate, that's all I'm good for. What if you can give me a glowing gem for my eyes? Then I'll let you in the gate. Okay, so you want a glowing gem? Yeah, sure. All I ask for is a little gem or a jewel that glows in the dark. You're the big hero, so go find one. One thing you like about the game is it doesn't matter what class you pick. If you have the skills leveled, you can use any solution. Yeah, that's kind of what I remember. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine, let's fight you. Let's stab you in the fucking stomach, you bitch. Nine silver coins and carefully place them in your pouch. Now, now, now we could afford the. Um, now we could afford the spell. What time is it? Sunset approaches on day two. Well, now we also know where we could rest. I'm just trying to remember how to get everywhere. Because I didn't make myself a map, which was not the wisest idea. Up from here, I think. Yeah, because on the right would be the castle. So if we go just straight down, we're going to end up at the farm. Told you. Except now the gate's closed. Because it's later than I... Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine! Guess we're gonna have to run to our safe space. God damn it. Alright. Run mode on. Just going to try and avoid everything and get... Hello, Brigand. Bye, Brigand. There is some place where evil cannot follow me. 
which is here. Let's eat a fruit and rest until morning. You don't... Okay, I don't need another please. Another please. Another piece of fruit. Let's eat in the morning, then. I think in the morning we will be hungry again. You sleep comfortably among the fragrant flowers. You awake as the sun begins to rise. Alright, at least we've found some things now. we found... Uh, where Baba Yaga's place is. We found the ring. Now we need to find a gem. We also need to find brigands. We need to find so many things. Yeah, I, I, I think that guy's a hostile. Okay, so there's a cave right next to here. I think, I think I want to go and buy the spell, then maybe let's go check out that cave. Okay, fine. Let's fight. Never mind. Oh, press the wrong button. Just die! Ooh, seven silver coins. See, now we have some extra, too. Should it just let me alone? Yeah, that was a... Somewhat common of a technique, wasn't it, Oompa? Yeah, I think I want to run away from that. I'm not comfortable enough trying to fight a brigand. Not yet. I want my spell. Yeah, stop raking. Sorry, I'm going through your farm. I'm just uh, passing through. Trying to get stuff. <clears throat> well, I think I, I think they had a pretty hard time trying to find an ogre to photograph. Like the talking faces in Fallout, for example, were scans of clay models as well. Hello, Zara. Yes, I return to your shop now. Take my money. As you read the spell scroll, the spell is ingrained in your mind. We can now cast fire. Bye, Sarah. All right. Now we could either try and find other places. Now let's go check the cave first. It could be that we cannot do much there, but <clears throat> it's a place I know that exists now. Granted, it is very likely also a very dangerous place. Thankfully, I do know where to get um, 
chain mail. I don't I didn't ask how much it costs though. So we might have to go around and kill some uh, goblins. A sketchy guy just came into her shop and bought uh, six smoke machines. She called the cops because she thinks he must be a part of some extreme mist group. Thank you, Blackbird. What the fuck? <laughs> well, at least it does something. Granted. What the fuck was that thing? Yeah, but what is it? Well, we learned to cast fireball, so that helps. Okay, let's go, well, hopefully, unless another enemy spawns again. See if we can go into the cave. Hi, red boy. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Yeah, I think we need to get a bit stronger first. Just, just, just have that kind of a feeling. That also means we are going to need more money and training. At some point we do need to go and check how much would it cost for us to get a better armor. Because it did say, uh, the dry goods merchant in town did say that he had... Did say that he had chain mail. I just didn't ask how much it costs. But it's clearly something that could be a useful thing to have. We're being followed. Hi, Zureka. This is kind of fun. Fine, let's fight, because we do need experience. Granted, I'm probably gonna die here. Oh fuck, I'm running out of stamina too. Oh, that was fucking close. At least we got nine silver coins for that, so it was something. Oh boy. Yes, this is very much what Elden Ring 2 looks like. 
I mean, it went from a fantasy action RPG to another fantasy adventure RPG. So, it's almost the same, right? Now, if I'd only remember why I came here. Right, check the chain mail. I mean, it is a decent size. Hello there, Mr. Adventure Man. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't notice you coming in. That's fine. Um, how much? Five hundred silvers? Fuck your five hundred silvers. Jesus Christ. I mean, when we get to do, um, when we get to do another kind of sort of main quest, yeah, I guess at that point we could afford it, but Right now, not even a little chance. You have 26 silver pieces. Twenty-six. That's slightly less than the 500 that he wants. Just, just a little bit. Ooh boy. All right. So what I'm thinking of next. Well, first things first, I need to go to safety. We are going to need to rest. Like a lot. Because we're, again, almost dead. We don't have magic points, we don't have stamina, and I kind of don't want to waste money on uh, the little money that we have on more potions. Not yet. We are very slowly regenerating stuff. At least we have, as you can see, we have gained quite a bunch of points already in pretty much everything except dodge. We have gained strength, intelligence, agility, vitality, luck, magic, weapon use. So we are becoming better as a hero, so it is something. Now, what I'm thinking of, since right now the... Um, the cave to the right seems to be a little bit too dangerous. We really, 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 really cannot afford uh, to buy any new armor. So what I'm thinking of is trying to follow up on some of the directions we got. Which would be trying to go west or southwest from town. We might find some clues about the brigands there. So I think that's gonna be the next thing. But I do apologize though in advance because it is the last day of my work rotation, which means I am mildly tired, which means I will occasionally maybe take a little bit more breaks than I would have would during uh, let's say, a midpoint of my work rotation. Which is kind of a preamble to me saying that I am going to take a short little break because I really need to take a piss and I need to get up for a moment. And then, we are going to try and find more clues about the brigands and uh, get a little bit more experience while we're at it. We are going to become a hero that is the best stabby stab in the world. So, I will be right back. All right.
right. So. Now, if uh, my assumption is correct, let's try and go back to... Oh, for fuck's sake! I wanted to go and look for I wanted to go and look for the bandits and stuff or brigands, sorry. Which means my assumption is we were told south or west, southwest, I think. I'm just going to avoid you right now, because I get the feeling that we are likely going to end up in a fight sooner or later. So let's go straight down. That should be safety. Because that's the farm. Then, if I remember correctly, from here... We go west, south... That should be no another west, right? Because now in south should be the graveyard. Because from that the south would have been the town. So now the south is the graveyard. So if we go south from here, the graveyard should be to the east, and one to the east from that is the town. So what if we go west from here? Just keep going west. Uh... Hello? You hear the squeaky muttering from beneath the ground. It seems the Meeps are having quite a discussion about you. Hearing a rumble from the Meep, will you quickly slip out of the way? Hiya, hiya, pleased to meet ya. Hi. Um, what the fuck are you? We are happy meeps, living in our happy holes. Don't worry, be happy. What's with the rocks? We use rocks for doors. They keep us dry and warm in our holes. So you live in holes? In, like, live in tunnels under the ground, you know. Are you like hippies? I think they're hippies. Man, like fur is good stuff, you know. Keeps us warm. Mine's the best. It's like green, you know. Why's green the best? I oh, want some green fur. I think I have some somewhere. Well, thanks. Do you know anything about the brigands? Ah, oh, gee, boss. I really don't know much about that at all, hey. Sorry. Do you know about magic? I found a scroll lying around in the woods one day. You want it? It's yours. Thanks. Bye. You pick up the spell scroll. As the magical runes fade, you find you now know how to cast the detect magic spell. Nice. 
You pick up the green fur. In the EGI version, Meeps tossed some random shit out of the hole. Alright, let's go up and start exploring again. Hi. The goblin has a mean look in its eyes. You prepare for battle. I think I'm very much dead. Yeah. Well, we found a place with goblins, at least. Well, what if... <laughs> Well, something fucked up. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna restart. Yeah, well, it happens. That is curious. I wonder what kind of a coding quirk makes that kind of stuff happen. We did find something. It's a ring formed of large and rather unusual looking mushrooms. The trees look more vibrant than most of the forest. There is a ring of mushrooms in the center of the clearing. This used to be a member of a famous rock group, but he decided to split the scene. A ring of mushrooms is ultimately suspicious. We did get a new spell though, so... You sense no magic in this area. Okay. It was worth a shot though. I'm sure this has some kind of a meaning. What it is, I don't know. I'm kind of trying to map this place in my brain right now. Because we should soon be right under the town. Okay, how do we get there? That was something, obviously. The hollow logs look the hollow log looks somberly back with its single giant eye. And you know that once that nothing is to be gained by investigating this gaunt relic of a more vertical past. It just looked different, so I wanted to know if it was something.
What is that? Okay, so I can't get there from... Oh, for fuck's sake. What if I go up from here? As the ghosts suck the life out of your body and you crumple into the dust of the old graveyard, you think the unspeakable thoughts of torture and torment directed at vicious programmers and insidious game designers. But please buy our next game anyway. Well, we finally found the Sierra. Alright, so the graveyard should be to the right of here. At least if I see floating skeletons and stuff, I don't want to go there. I mean, it's it's fun for the ghosts. I know that. An old archery target looks as though it has not been used in quite some time. You can feel the holes where daggers and arrows once hit the target. You've wasted a spell. There's nothing here to open. Well, at least now I know that this exists, so it's something. What is the purpose of it? I don't know. We've found two things now, at least, that I don't know what the purpose of them is. That log is a good marker, though. Up from the log should be... The town, I think. Hello there. The roar of the waterfall fills your ears and the cold spray dampens your face as you approach. That looks like a door. Hello. Can I climb there? The rocks I took slick from the spray of the waterfall for your limited climbing skill. And I don't think it's getting any better, is it? Nope. That brings me a question of... How do I get there? Since I cannot learn how to climb. Yeah, probably magic. Oh, what the fuck are you? Also, I completely forgot to heal myself. Okay, I think it's time to start going towards our resting place. It's very much a uh, uh, you're dead kind of a game. Oh fuck, we're here.
Yeah, bye. Oh boy. Hello there. You've never seen anything quite like them. They're pretty in a grotesque way. To the south and east is the forest from which you came. To the north and west are steep cliffs. There are some unusual plants growing out of the side of the cliffs. They are spitting what seems to be some kind of a seed. And I cast open on them. Your skill with the open spell is not great enough to affect the plants. Okay, so I do need to... I can use the open, but I need to get better at it. So I need to... Oh, fuck. I need to get better at it. Which means I'm going to need to just start using open to things. Well, at least I found one place where I could basically use it. Probably as much as I have magic points. Your hunger has been totally satisfied. Well, that's nice. Can I now rest until morning, or am I... There we go, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You sleep comfortably among the fragrant flowers. I'm also wondering, what if in the waterfall place, either we're going to need to get some kind of a ladder there, or they're already, or we need to somehow get climbing skill, or we need to close the waterfall somehow. Or there's already a ladder and it's hidden by magic, which means we might be able to use the detect spell. I'm trying to think of things we can and should do. There's also plenty of places we haven't been to yet. You know who was the biggest sponsor of the movie Human Centipede? Nokia. Because Nokia is connecting people. Yeah, fun, funny thing, I, I should still have... That is somewhere in my meme folders. Uh, it, it was a classic, uh, you know, putting Nokia connecting people to a silhouette of a porn movie. Because, you know, connecting people. Well, that's a new place as well. You see your own reflection in the crystal clear waters. You see a lovely waterfall in the distance, feeding the lake with ice-cold mountain water. The runoff river from the waterfalls forms this scenic lake. The rocky shore is blissfully relaxing. The lake water tastes pretty good, if a bit flat. Can I put it in the... You fill a flask with the clear lake water. There we go. We have a flask of water now.
to the right was the waterfall thing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go spam the thingy right now. I want to explore instead of grinding for levels. I can grind for levels later, and for expertise. Okay, and here was the fox once, right? Then to the right of this was the dead end. Then I think I went straight up. What about right from here? What's there? Far from the frost field, fares forth this fighter. Hunger has hurled me hither from home. My name is known in the Northland as Brogy. Barter with blades clash or bargain with me. Tell me about your hunger. Follow my food out, for my hunt has been kindred, hindered by having to hurry here from my home. What do you want to eat? Find me some fruit for the mellow, my mead horn. A gift I will give of a glim that now glows. Ooh! Jewel from Jotunheim, flare of the frost flame. Fetch to me the fruit that will fill up my fists. It looks like it will take a lot of fruit to fill up those fists. I don't want to kill him. I've got some fruit. Your meagre selection of fruit makes a paltry pile at the bottom of the giant's cupped hands. You need to get quite a few more apples to fill those hands. How many apples are we going to need? Alright, so if I'm not entirely wrong, if we go straight to the west, we should end up at the healers. I remember that I wanted to buy apples. I didn't remember why. Nor how much. I still don't remember how much, but at least now I know where I need the apples to. Thinking about it in a game designer way. It's something between 40 and 60, likely. So let's get 60. Gotta hit the hay now. Alright. Do hit the hay. Thank you for popping by, Humpa. Do sleep well. Three. Four. Five. Six. Would that be enough? Well, the only way we can find that out is by trying. So we gotta go up. And then east until we find the giant again. And he gives us a gem, which would let us go to Baba Yaga. I just don't think I want to go to Baba Yaga yet because I get the feeling that it's going to be rather dangerous. But it, it, it at least opens up a way for us. Oh, for fuck.
What do you have? Ten silver coins. Eh, it's something. Could you stop and thank you? You have thirty silver coins. We got a lot of items and I don't know what to do with them. We have green fur, for example. What do we use what do we need green fur for? On a positive note, each fight is going to make things easier because, you know, th th this is very much one of those, okay, you use a skill, you're going to get better at it. And that includes the spells. Hi, buddy, I found you more apples. Fruit you have found it to fill all my food stores. Thus filled the bargain, my gem you've bought. Wrong is parted and all has been answered. The meat it may mellow and now I head home. Brog strides off through the cave on his way back to his northern home. The cave looks very eerie and ominous. Can I go in? Bet I want shaft. Those icicles look sharp. Well... At least now we have a glowing gem. We could give that out for fuck's sake. Yeah, the brigands are still quite dangerous. I still want to explore, though. Hello there, what's this place? A sign appears. It reads Willkommen auf Zauberberg. It's quite an impressive rock group. Funny, you've never heard anything about the Great Wall of Spielberg before. You'll have to get a new travel agent. The road seems to wind forever up the mountain. Can we leave? Another sign appears. It reads, <clears throat> Trespassers will be towed. I want to see it. I want to be a toad. Charmer dried. Maybe. Oh, there's a mountain penis. I didn't even notice that. It looks like a cross between a castle and an angry purple rhinoceros. You feel as though you've just scaled the Matterhorn in full armor. What a climb. You can see all of Spielberg Valley from here. After you finally catch your breath, you see that you've reached a rather eccentric looking house that you saw from below. There is an ugly gargoyle above the entrance. Stand fast. He who would the wizard see first must answer questions three. What? Is your name? Oh, I don't think I gave myself a name. Unknown hero. What is your quest? I want glory. What is your favorite color? Purple. Hey, his eyes do work. Go on in. Wizard will see you now. Yeah, okay. That was weird. This room is full of odds, ends, and stuff. The wizard must be a real character. I hope so, because he's in a video game, so he fucking better be a character. The poor stuffed peacock seems bedraggled, worn, and overused. It's the famous Duncan Dragon. You haven't seen one of those in years. There is a strange figure on the bookshelf. It looks like an overgrown rat wearing a wizard's hat. Through the portal to the east sits a standing room only. Your eyes are drawn to the eyes of the figure in the portrait. His intense stare is unnerving.
This would not be someone to trifle with, for he looks subtle and quick to anger. Through the portal to the west stands a small sitting room, a casket with a stick shift. <clears throat> I'll be honest, I'm expecting the wizard to jump out of the portrait. Close enough. <clears throat> Come and sit down. Oh. Fenris, our guest has arrived. Cheese, please. Ah. Since you're a practitioner of the magical arts, you might be interested in a little game I have. Do you know the spell Open? Yes. How about the spell Fetch? Yes. Oh, great. Now can you cast Flame Dart? Yes. Ah, good, 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 good. Now all you have to know is the spell Trigger. I don't suppose you know that spell, do you? No. I believe I gave a learning scroll to the Hermit. You'll have to talk to him about it. It would be best to wait until Erasmus puts us down his cup of tea before asking any questions. Tell me about, um, Erasmus. I'm a wizard of some renown. Do you know the difference between a cheetor and a comma? No, what's the difference between a cheetor and a comma? A cheetor has claws at the end of its paws and a comma is a pause at the end of a claws. Tell me about Fenris. What am I? Some sort of object? Am I invisible or something that you talk about me behind my back in front of my face? She's no respect! It's hard to take anyone very seriously who wears such a ridiculous hat. How about magic? If magic be the loot of life, play on. The quote was music, not magic, and was food, not loot. How about magic makes the world go round? Money makes the world go round. Oh. Very well, then, to put it in my own words, magic is the essence and the soul of life and the wizard in a poet. Actually, it was Merlin who said that first, but he used the term magician, not wizard. Then rest there are times when he would look better as a newt. Why's that? Because newts can talk. Neither can most rats. Do you know about Zara? It's very likely the case that this game doesn't take itself too seriously. Zara has a real flair for the theatric. Her entrance at the magic shop is a bit showy but effective. It's a pity she has no sense of humor. Uh, just because she doesn't laugh at your joke doesn't mean she lacks a sense of humor. It just means that she has a good one. Tell me about Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga is good at curses and shape-changing spells. She had a nasty temper and doesn't believe in safe hex. So it's best to stay on her good side. You have to watch her. She cheats at cards. So do you. She started it first. Besides, I wanted her to get a taste of her own medicine. Shame she still beats you. Tell me about curses. The curse Baba Yaga placed upon Baron von Spielberg was a fine example of creative cursing. Upon one Spielberg and all his clan, tis the curse I now demand. What I will shall come full measure, so shall ye lose all that ye treasure. Of course the problem is that for every curse there is an equal and opposite counter curse. A counter curse is a cure for a curse. It usually works against the one who cast the curse in the first place. The counter curse for the curse of the Baron goes, Come a hero from the east, free the man from in the beast. Bring the child from out the band, drive the curse from the land. So to break the curse, a hero must get rid of Baba Yaga, in addition to all the other things. Just not reflect well on Baba Yaga. Nothing reflects well upon that ogre. She has a face that would break anything but a magic mirror. Okay, so I also need to find a magic mirror.
There are many types of magic mirrors. One of the more common types is the one that has a strange face popping up every so often. Reminds me of the one in the master bedroom. That's not magical. No, but it does have a strange face peering from it whenever you're in the room. At any rate, I used to have a nice magic hand mirror I misplaced around here somewhere. It could be used to reflect the spell back upon the caster. So if you happen upon a small golden magic mirror with a dragon handle on it, you'll know it's mine. It was the flagon with the dragon. The mirror had a leer. Oh, that's right. Well, if you find a magic mirror with the face on it, you'll know it reflects spells. Do you know which has more legs, one cow or no cow? No. You're right. No cow has more than four legs. Ah, <laughs> things are too easy. Well, thank you. Alright, so I, I, I do know the hermit. My problem is I don't know how to get to him. Because I can't climb. But it's, it's quite obvious that the hermit lives in the, in the cave. So comes the question, how do I get to that? Because I need to get there. So I can get another spell. So I can... Uh, do whatever the fuck he wanted to do again. One moment, I need to... Do a thing. Sorry about that. Alright, so first things first, let's... <clears throat> That's more like it. Okay, not not quite like that. I wanted to go to the side because I saw that it kind of flung open. And this is a Sierra game. Oh, hello, come on in. Hello, how are you? Have we met before? I'm Henry the Hermit, that's me. My father was an hermit and my mother was an hermit, so I can buy my job rightly. Don't have too many visitors. Hermits don't, you know, part of the job description. I like to see a new face, though. Good to hear another speaking besides myself, so what can I do for you? Is a hermit staff. He needs a large staff to help him record his memoirs for posterity. A relic from India, a snake charmer's basket. A court. Hermit staff. That one too. Reminds of Navajo ceremonial bridal pot. Fire is down to a set of dimly glowing coals. The hermit has all the amenities, including running water. I'm actually looking for a spell. An hermit is one who only or one who lives alone, far away from him. What talks too much or asks too many questions? Hermits are shy, quiet as what don't say much. 
Me brother Ariely hardly says a word in a year. My sister Orton's hasn't spoken since she was six. I never talks at all. Yeah, we hermits knows how to keep his mouth shut. Yeah, you never talk at all. When it's a dark and a damp and the water's washed, so there's not a moment's quiet. The ceiling drips and the walls are slimy and it's always cold. But oh well, says he, says I, he's home. How about your family? My family lives pretty far apart from each other. We're all hermits, you know. Tell me about the falls. Oh, these here, what's called the flying falls. I've done some flying falls around here myself. The ports get slippery sometimes. <laughs> yeah, fl flying falls, I get it. I know some magic. The rest was the wizard taught me some spells. Is what put the spell on me lattice as the brigands don't get up. Then what climbs the rocks gets a door open and in the nose. Wouldn't happen to have more spells. Oh, the spells what I know is pretty simple maybe, but I like them. I can make me a ladder show up in me door close and even get rid of pests using the trigger spell, you see. Tell me about the trigger spell. Why is the spell what sets off other spells? Like, when you want to see the ladder, you cast a trigger and there you have it. Large as life. Cause you got to have a spell on the invisible ladder to make it visible first, uh, but as he uses. I think I have a scroll with the spell. If you be knowing some magic, that is. I'd really like it, thank you. Why, thank you, Zai. Yeah, if you be wanting to learn the spell, I'll be pleased to share it with you. Just get it molded in me hiding place. Do you want it? Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, let's see. Who oh, does Erasmus do it? Oh, yes. He summons it with a trigger. Here it goes. There you have it. Thank you. The scroll vanishes even as you read the magical runes upon it. You now have the knowledge to cast a trigger spell. Nice. Tell me about Erasmus. Ah, oh, he's my friend. He and Fenris, powerful as it is. I hear he houses something to see up north. I don't make it out much, and he's uh, pretty busy, so I don't see him too often. But when we do, we all get together. You can be sure we'll all have fun. He loves to play his games, you do. Yeah, I've noticed that's what he wants me to do as well. Tell me about the games. Uh, Rasmus' favorite game is the Mage's Maze. Have to be a magic user to play it, though. Erasmus is awfully good at it. Tell me about Venris. Ah, Venris is Erasmus' familiar. Or is that the other way around? Tell me about the brigands. Ah, nasty sorts they is. I sees them sneaking around the woods all the times. Other than the warlock, I oh, has nothing to do with them. Warlock, you said. Oh, he's not too bad. But you could sense a humor he has. Oh, I get the giggles just to think of him. <laughs> he's come by times to chat. Or the mirror, what I borrowed from Erasmus, he did. Ah, for fuck's sake. So the brigand warlock has the magic mirror. Ah, a magic mirror of reflection it was. If you use it when a nasty spell was cast at you, it was what sent it back. And the one who cast it. Do one to others asses. Well, thank you. Much obliged. If you ever be needing a place to stay in the night and you're in the area, I could be willing to put you up for the night for the some rations and a couple of games of cribbage. Good to know, thank you. Well, all right, so we are getting closer to figuring out what to do with Baba Yaga. We now have the gem to get into the Baba Yaga's place. We have a rhyme to lower Baba Yaga's hut. We have um, the counter curse. 
Now all we need is the magic mirror. And the magic mirror, unfortunately, is... <sighs> with the brigands. So that kind of sucks. <clears throat> oh, well. Let's just get a bit of experience for that. Hello! Then I'm gonna sneeze and let's start walking towards west and see if... Just exploring up before going back to the mage, the wizard. Well, that was not what I had planned. Yeah, I had planned to just walk from here. God damn it, I guess we are going to have to go and see if we can find some, well, buy some potions. Then come back over here. Come on, move. Hello. Who are you? What's in it for me? If you give me a silver, I might have a bit of info you can use. How much money do I have? 36 silver. Okay, fine. For another silver, I can tell you about where to go find the Baron and Baba Yaga or some goblins who have a lot of treasure. If you want some information, hand me some cash. For another silver. I've been giving you some fucking silver. How to then? Okay, what do you want to know? Monsters. Lots of monsters in this valley. Most of them are wimps, though. Tell me about the goblins. The little pests are just northwest of the cemetery. They're a bunch of wimps. Tell me about the wallet. Some kind of magic user. And laughs a lot. That's all I know. The Antwerp's a good monster for you to fight. It loves to play. The fuck's an Antwerp? Tell me about... Uh, the Baron. You just take the road north from here past the healers and go till it get to his castle. Baba Yaga's an ugly hag who lives in a weird house and knows some magic. Her place is due west of the Baron's place. Can't miss it. Have a two gold, I'll tell you how to get into her heart. No, thanks, I know that already. Right, I was supposed to tr go and... If you want a good time, try the dragon's breath at the bar. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Tried it already and I died. So how fucking much were the potions again? I remember Zara was selling some potions, but I didn't check what they actually were. I just read there was a potion or something. Is that one of the spells? So you return to my shop. Ask me what you will, but keep it to the point. Get some money. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, those are expensive. Yeah, that's very expensive.
Okay, so I think I'm going to have to try and avoid fighting until we get to rest for the night again. Let's start by saving. And then going to the rest place we know of. Because at the very least we should be able to rest for an hour. Which should recover some... Some of our health, stamina, and magic points. The last I checked the time, it was like mid... Uh, mid-morning. So it's still quite a long ways away until the night. Are we hungry? <clears throat> Perfect. Then let's press. Alright. Considering where we are, Let's go Let's go to the mage. Never mind, not that direction then. Stupid goblin. Alright, so if we're gonna go through... Well, it was... If the Ice Ogre was right from the healers, that... I think it was two steps north. So we want to go north, north, east, east. And then we should be in the right place. Oh, for fuck's sake. Got ambushed behind a tree, you motherfucker. All right, and it should be... Oh, fuck. I don't want to fight again. I don't have stats for it. God, this is a dangerous place. No wonder they need a hero. I'm not going home. I'm, I'm getting over there. I want to go do mazes and monsters. It's a far out game. There was a bit of an explanation of how it works in uh, in the manual. Don't tell me we're fucking... Thank God. I was like, did we fucking die of exhaustion? Your body can't take too much more of this kind of mountaineering. At this point, you envy the gargoyle his job. And you wanna be a hero? Can you hear me? You have three questions. What's your name? Again, unknown hero. My quest, I wanna be a hero. My favorite color, still purple. Well, at least we know where the mirror is. It's not hiding anywhere here. It's at the brigands. So we need to find the war brigand warlock before we can deal with Baba Yaga. Oh, 
All right, now let me save. Yes, I know open. I know fetch. I know flame dart. I know trigger. Wonderful! Then you can play a game of Mage's Maze with me. You do want to play, don't you? Yes, please. I'll teach you the dazzle spell if you win. Okay, I don't have enough magic ones to do anything. Oh. What the fuck? Yeah, I'd say that needs a little bit of an explanation, doesn't it? Playing the Mage's Game First, read how to play the Mage's Maze in your famous adventurous correspondence school guidebook. Rasmus's version has a few variations. The maze screen consists of two status icons, four spell buttons and a maze strewn with bridges, ladders and boulders. Two hyperactive bugs are trying not to fall off the cliffs. The blue creature is yours and the purple one belongs to Erasmus. The object is to encourage your bug to finish the game first. The status icon show your current magic points and the amount of time remaining on your current spell. You play the game by casting spells at the game board. If you have a mouse, simply click on the spell button you wish to use. From the keyboard, use the left and right cursor keys to move the sword cursor to the spell button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you've selected a spell, the timer starts. How much time you have depends on the skill level in the chosen spell. The exception is to trigger spell, which always works and takes effect immediately. Use the fetch spell to move a bridge or ladder into position. Point the mouse at any bridge or ladder. Press the left mouse button, move the object where you want it, then release the mouse button. Using the keyboard or joysticks, press enter. Use the open spell to remove a boulder from your bug's path. Point to the offending boulder and then click the mouse. The boulder will vanish and reappear in another random position. Use the trigger spell to change the size of your creature. Each trigger spell will change the creature to the next size, small or medium, medium to large or large to small. Only small bugs can travel through tunnels and only medium bugs can climb ladders. Medium bugs like to eat small ones and... Uh, are themselves the favorite food of large bugs. All sizes are easily distracted when food, a predator, or a friend is near. Same size bugs are attracted to one another. The flame dart spell will put a miniature sun in the maze. Use the mouse joystick or the cursor keys to position it. The bugs like warmth and will be attracted to nearby heat sources. Should either bug die, a new one will appear at the top of the maze. This might take a while. Okay, how do I get more magic points? This is just that it's my magic points that I have, which wasn't shit's worth. <clears throat> yeah, I think it is. Which means I need to get better at magic, because I've run out of magic already, which means I can't do shit. Okay, so I need to become a better mage before I can even have a good chance at this.
Because I can't do anything. Magic power potion, yeah, we'd need to buy those. Okay. Okay, er Erasmus, could you win already? So I can't do anything. <laughs> Well, I, I'm glad you do. I'm, I'm leaving. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Well. At least I have now learned something, which is that we are going to need a lot of magic points for that. We cannot go there unrested. All right. So basically, a lot of the things that's... A lot of the... <coughs> fuck. One of the big things we need to do now is just get better at everything. Just, um... We're gonna need to get better at magic. All of the spells, preferably. We need to find a way to get... Um, I wonder if the healer sells... Magic power potions. That very much feels like one of those things that because we are expending resources... We are going to just need to reload and retry that several times. You know, buying some potions and then retrying that over and over again until we win. Sunset approaches. Perfect. Soon we get to sleep for the night and actually have a proper amount of uh, points again. How's our stats right now? Intelligence and magic have risen quite a nice way, actually. Strength has gotten up. Weapon use has gotten a little bit up. We've been mostly using spells lately, so that's... Uh... But this is a good thing, because it, uh, these things do improve our... Well, ability to do things. Come on. Become knight. Also, I feel like we are going to have to... We're going to have to kill one of those black... creatures. That's the cheetor. Is it a cheat? Fuck, oh, I got it now. We needed its claws for the healer. Then we also need to kill an ogre for its beard. Is that an ogre that's right to the east from here? I mean... Let's save and try it, because... Now we should be fully recovered, right? After a proper night's sleep. So 
So what if we have enough to kill it with the fire? That way we could get to the cave as well. Fuck you, buddy. Search of the dead ogre's body produces no treasure. However, the treasure chest he was carrying lies beside his body. The dead ogre's huge club is too much too heavy for you to lift. Doesn't he have a beard? Are you fucking kidding me? He has a locked chest. Okay. Fuck. So that was for nothing. No, wait. I'm dumb. Open. I have a spell. Spell. Open. That's more like it. Your spell is too weak to open the Augustus. Fuck you. As your eyes adjust from sunlight to darkness, you examine the interior of this eerie cavern. You sense something moving off to your right. Yeah, that looks like a big fucking bear. On one side of this cavern is a creature which looks like a large bear. There is something attached to his leg. Suddenly, a feeling of peace and tranquil tranquility permeates the area. The pair appears docile for the time being. Can I do something? Can I now go past it? See, I am of the clever sometimes. Now what's this? This section of gay cave has an eerie quality. You see a kobold resting on the ledge across from you. The strange creature is dressed in ragged clothes. It has large pale eyes. It must have spent its entire life in these caves. A large brass key hangs from a thong around the creature's neck. You're about as stealthy as the average goon. Yeah, I kind of guess that. Uh-oh, you've woken the kobold. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Oh shit, the bear is not happy anymore. Oh fuck. Okay, so we'd run out of magic points. But... But... The idea was right. Just the execution was complete dog shit. <laughs> Alright, so let's kill this motherfucker. I do want to check one thing. So... Ah, fuck. Wrong. You possess the open spell. Your expertise is 10. What if I keep using this even if it doesn't work on it yet? Do we get better by trying? Uh, 
I don't think we do. Well, shit. I didn't want you to pick up rocks. I wanted you to walk over there. All right, so how many magic points do we need? We need to cast Calm at least twice and fetch once. So Calm is four magic points. Fetch is five. So we need 14 at least. How many do we have now? 17, so that should be enough. Doesn't hurt to still get more. That should be more than enough, right? Thankfully, the dead ogre stays there. That's also the wrong kind of ogre, because we... No, it was Troll's beard, right? So that was an ogre, not a troll. Never mind, I'm just dumb. Alright, so let's cast the Corm again. Then go back to the next area and use the fetch to get the key from the kobold. Some sort of food mushroom sits in a pile on the stone table. It looks almost edible to a kobold. Now let's use fetch to get the key. Then get away from here. You go, you now stay here. Yes, I'm going. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm moving. Now chill, bear. Just let me pass. Told you it would work. Except, where's the key? Wait a fucking second. Oh, right, I didn't get the key, did I? Fuck, never mind. Okay, it didn't work. It just woke the kobold. So I need to do something else, then. Alright, well, that's another place we are going to have to keep in our mind. It'll have to wait until the next time, though, because I do have a long... I do have a long, 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 long work day today, which means I will start stopping for now. Next time, we'll see what kind of things we can figure out how to do. A lot of things, probably. We found a lot of things about Baba Yaga. We know we need to find a warlock with uh, the brigand's warlock. We still have the southwestern area unexplored, which means we might find the warlock there. We have to figure out how to get enough money and enough magic points, actually, to be able to do that magic maze thingy. A lot of things we can do. I think today was a surprisingly productive day for that, because I haven't played that, like I said, in during this millennium at all. I don't really remember shit about that. So it's it's actually been really fun getting back into it and doing all kinds of exploration again. Don't remember shit, but it's fun rediscovering things. 
But anyway, that is going to be it for this time. I'm not yet sure which day we will be back sometime. Well, weekend, not just sure which day. One day on the weekend. Again, I'll mention it on Discord. But that is it for this time. Thank you everyone so much for being here. Thank you everyone so much for the raids, the videos, the resubs, everything. Very much appreciated. I really, really do appreciate all of your support. But I'm going to go get myself some caffeine before I'm going to go to work. And then I'm going to go to work. And on Discord, I'll again mention when I'm going to be streaming next. So that is it for this time. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you soon. But until then, Fintrovert, signing out.